Hey Capricorn, welcome to your September monthly reading. This is a collective reading, so it will not resonate with you all. If it doesn't resonate with you, I encourage you to check your sun, moon and rising sign video on my channel, as you may be sitting in that energy. Alternatively, you can also click the link in the description box below to my Instagram, Chelsea Trees, where I sell online personal readings all over the world through. Okay Capricorn, let's get into it. It's coming through for your energy in... September Capricorn dice please all right Capricorn the planetology energy that is around you is the planet of I think I'm holding it upside down I am Mercury Mercury is the energy of mentality communication siblings and travel you have strong Mercury energy around you which is mind communication nerves and senses very much body energy so you'll be feeling a lot in your body at the moment Capricorn the star sign that is around you is the star sign of Sagittarius you could be dealing with a Sagittarius you may have a lot of Sagittarius in your chart there is strong Sagittarian energy around you so pay attention to that the number that is backing you is in number 10, which is completion of a cycle. You have finished something, you have finished a behavior, you have finished a way of living. You are starting a new way. There is a new chapter on the way for you and you are heading straight into it, Capricorn. Okay. All right. The energy that's coming through for you on the cards is the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine of cups reverse. The nine of cups reverse is... There's lack of inner enjoyment at the moment. There is smugness. You're feeling really dissatisfied with something. And I think what it is that you're feeling dissatisfied with is the fact of um, that you haven't grieved something properly is the energy I'm getting. You haven't grieved something properly. Something really hurt you, a friendship breakdown, a breakup with a partner or someone's past. But something really hurt you and you haven't really grieved it. And because you haven't grieved it, it's still sort of lingering there. And there is a there is a desire to recover from this and move on. And I think you're you used to be not at the point that you were ready, but you're finally ready to actually face this hardship face on and let it go and release it now. Which is very strong because it was a very hard thing that you went through. In the middle of September. You do have a lot of mental noise. You're feeling trapped. You're feeling like there is, n it's never going to get better and life is just so difficult and you are just like stuck. But what you're not going to see coming is that abundance is going to show up. So even though you're going to be very stressed, your bank account's going to be filling up and you're going to be reminded on why you do take on so much stress because you're building an empire. You're building a life for yourself that most others don't have the determined um, nation to do and to when you're doing that sort of journey when you want stuff that other people don't have it take it's a harder way it's harder it's not as easy and it takes a lot of stress and it's a lonely road unfortunately it can feel very lonely in the end of September we see you going back to something that you had walked away from you feel like it's time to go back to this thing um because you feel like it's the only thing that has worked in the past. So you need to do that again. But it's also something that it's the truth. It's a head over heart discipline. It might not be the love of your life, but it's what brings you the best outcome. It might not be the best situation, but it's what benefits your life the best. So it's why you sort of have to step into that energy. Okay. On the end here, we have your hidden energy. Your hidden energy is that you being emotionless is a blocking your creativity and blocking your success. And it's a reason you're feeling empty. It's also blocking you from noticing so many opportunities to expand your career, expand your money, expand your life, expand love, because you're switching your emotions off and thinking like, oh, well, if I just switch them off and I just don't care about them. No, you actually need to follow them. Your emotions have a reason. They're showing up for a really big re reason and you do need to follow them. Switching them off is hurting you. It's not benefiting you. Being the strongest person in the room isn't the person that has no emotions. It's the person that has them all and feels them all. 
Avoiding them is not strength. The advice for you, Capricorn, is you are loved. You are here for a reason. Don't fuck it up. Stop talking. Shut your mouth and listen. You need some fucking yoga in your life. Ancient shit is cool. Get the fuck out of your head. Get in your heart. It misses you. Love. Get some, give some. It will cheer your ass up. Okay. Now, what somebody is thinking about you, Capricorn, through the month of September, somebody who's energetically connected to you, somebody is thinking about you, they're thinking about this a lot, is I can't stop thinking about you. I am becoming a better person. I want you. I couldn't let you get close to me. Just being near you is intoxicating. I'll read that one more time. What somebody is thinking about Capricorn month of September is, I can't stop thinking about you. I am becoming a better person. I want you. I couldn't let you get close to me. Just being near you is intoxicating. Okay, and on the end here, we have your romance and love life energy. And what we have is calling in your soulmate your prayers and affirmations and visualizations help bring you together attraction you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully heart to heart conversations honestly discuss your feelings with each other Okay, Capricorn, please like and subscribe as it really helps my channel. If you did want to book a personal reading with me, you can in the link in the description box below to my Instagram, Chelsea Therese. Sending you all love and light and I'll see you next month for another reading.